group we work a lot on plasmonic metamaterials. So metamaterials in general are nanostructured material, composite materials that um, exhibit optoelectronic properties that do not belong to the individual constituents but are the product of the interaction between the individual constituents. <coughs> and in the case of plasmonic metamaterials, we have some metallic inclusions in a dielectric or in a functionalized matrix. And this metallic inclusion will behave collectively in a very peculiar way when they interact with light. So the main structure that we fabricate and characterize here uh, is a metamaterial made of a regular array of vertically aligned gold nanorods. At the moment it's mainly gold and then we're going to explore uh, also aluminium and other, other materials. So you can see the, the geometry of the metamaterial here. So this is the, the, fi the um, a typical sample with a, a gold nanorod metamaterial. So it's, um, it's possible to see how the color is a, a reddish color. And this is due to the fact that these gold nanorods are interacting as a collective entity and not as an individual, not as a gold film or as an individual particle that would uh, look uh, more yellow. So the, the system is on two optical tables. So on the on the optical table, you can see at the back is just the laser system. So it's a, a laser system in three parts. Uh, to get both, we need visible light, infrared light, and white light. So we get this complex system to generate all the wavelengths as we want. And then we have an optical table, which is used to recombine all these beams and control the power and the polarization. And then we send these beams into this microscope. So it's a commercial inverted microscope uh, on which we built a non-inverted microscope. And then we send our beams here, so the sample will be sitting there. And then the light will be detected in this black box that we keep in the dark to prevent light from coming in. So these gold nanorods are grown electrochemically into a matrix which is uh, made of alumina. It's a porous matrix in which then the gold can grow. So um, these individual nanorods, they have um, a characteristic response to an incident plane wave, to some incident light, and this is a resonant response. So they have some uh, characteristic features in their extinction spectrum, so uh, transverse and a longitudinal resonance, and these are the product of the collective oscillation of free electrons inside the metallic nanoparticles. So in our metamaterial we are putting together an array of those nanoparticles and those individual resonances are going to communicate between each other, they're going to interact and we're going to end up with a collective optical response of the metamaterial. Okay. Um, so I'm working on the optical characterization of the metamaterials. So there is uh, usually two parts in this. One is to check so if, if the sample has the linear properties we're expecting. So for example, in the case of nanorods, we want to make sure that uh, we, we see the, the, that high absorption, that high angular dependent absorption. Uh, we want to make sure it's there. So that's a, a first control on the quality of the samples. But uh, what we're mostly measuring here on this setup is the more exotic properties of the metamaterials. Uh, so the two things we're really interested in, uh, because they're way stronger in metamaterials than in typical natural materials, are the nonlinear response, which is the ability of the material to convert the, to change the wavelengths of light. So typically we'll use uh, the, the laser, so we'll use infrared pulsed light, shine it using the microscope onto our uh, nanomaterial, and then uh, look at the wavelengths of the light that's emitted by the metamaterial. And we're really interested in, the, in its ability to frequency double and 
script hold the light. So the ability to um, enhance the interaction between two photons or three photons so that they combine and give you a photon with twice or three times the energy. Um, so that's one of the property we're interested in. The other property we're interested in is uh, that rods have ultra-fast properties. So they have nice sharp resonances and you can actually modulate, you can change these resonances, shift them a tiny bit by using light. So we now come in uh, using the same system which is two pulses of light. The first one will heat up the electrons in the, in the gold, which results in a change in the optical properties. So these modes will change a bit. And then we use white light uh, to probe these modes. So we're, we're going to look at the changes in transmission of the metamaterial as a function of the time delay between the two pulses. And so that gives us tunable materials that we can actually actively modulate.